Hi, I'm Joe Baccarella, Manager of Technical Assistance for Tenneco and the Walker brand of Emission Controls products. I'm here in the Walker Garage where we're producing a series of programs designed to help you understand one of the most interesting technologies on a passenger vehicle, the Emission Control System. For those of you who have been around a while, you know that the gases coming out of today's tailpipes are a lot cleaner and less harmful than they were back in the 1970s, 80s, or even the 1990s. That's because today's engines, onboard electronics, and emissions control components are doing an excellent job of reducing and converting harmful gases like hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, and nitrogen oxides or NOx. Here's what we'll be covering in this series. First, we'll introduce you to this component, a catalytic converter. We will discuss the evolution of the catalytic converter and tell you how modern converters work. Then we'll take a look at why converters fail, or more specifically, which other factors under the hood cause them to fail. Next, we'll dive into a series of programs looking at the steps involved in quickly identifying and resolving emission problems. We will also provide quick tests to allow you to evaluate an engine's volumetric efficiency and the converter's oxygen storage capacity. And then we'll cap it all off with a look at the most common misconceptions related to catalytic converters and emissions control issues. Many people assume that catalytic converters wear out on their own, but the truth is catalytic converters don't fail on their own. They are either physically damaged by an impact of some sort, or more commonly, they are affected by another problem on the vehicle. Either an engine problem, a failed sensor, or other issue that prevents them from doing their job. Bottom line, don't invest your time and money in replacing the catalytic converter until you first solve the root cause of its failure. Otherwise, you might end up facing the same problem all over again. A catalytic converter is an amazing piece of technology. There are no moving parts, no internal electronics, yet the unhealthy emissions, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, and NOx that enter the converter exit primarily as carbon dioxide and water vapor. It's a pretty cool technology, and we're eager to tell you all about it. So come back to the Walker Emissions Control Garage for our next program, How Catalytic Converters Work. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us.